This video is all about car diagnostics and car diagnostic tools and kind of a little bit about how to use them, pros and cons of the different types and a few other bits and pieces. So if you're interested, make sure you stick around. So I think the first thing I want to cover here is why you would want a car diagnostic tool. Primarily that's because you have a problem with your car or you may in the future and you kind of want to know a little bit more about the problem and if it's you know safe to, to currently drive home if you're out and about or if you're at home is it safe to drive the vehicle with that fault currently or do you you know have to call your breakdown service or uh, even just giving you a bit more information so that when you go to your mechanic with the problem that you have you can give them an idea of what is specifically wrong with the car rather than just it stop working. Now there are a couple of different types types of car diagnostic tools. The main one that I would recommend most people would have is something like this, that's a, an OBD2 wireless reader. Now OBD2 is the, uh, this port here, it is the kind of industry standard port for car diagnostics and has been in, or is in every vehicle since uh, around about the early 2000s, late 1990s. So uh, your car most definitely does have one of these ports. You can find out where in your owner's manual. In my case, mine is just below my steering wheel on the right hand side just next to the bonnet release catch and you just push it into place and that's it for this one. Now this is a wireless version, you can get wired ones which will just read out direct fault codes, although this wireless one does give you a little bit more functionality in terms of real time information and stuff like that. Now making use of one of these readers is pretty simple, as I said this is the wireless model, this one specifically uses Wi-Fi. You can get them with Bluetooth as well, uh, and if you do get one with Wi-Fi make sure that when you connect to the uh, reader with your phone or whatever else you're using, make sure that you have your wireless data to turned off as there seems to be a bit of an overlap issue with having two data access points but otherwise once you have it connected I personally use the Torque app it's a free app and I believe is available on iOS as well as Android but for me, I personally use Android and that's just that. Um, and that gives you access to things like your fault codes. Now, in my case, my car is perfectly fine, so I don't have any fault codes, but each fault code will come up with a general, a general description of what that fault should be, although it may vary per car. So feel free to take a look at your friend Google uh, to see what they say about that as well. Uh, and you can also get real-time information for things like uh, even just uh, doing uh, tests for you know, your O2 sensors and stuff like that, which for for some reason mine comes up with an error for but I can assure you they're fine uh, so it is a little bit erroneous sometimes and you can also do real-time information with things like your revs your throttle your acceleration even things like your 0 to 60 times and your quarter mile times if you fancy um, so all of that information is available with something like this now you can step up the food chain in terms of diagnostic tools with your vehicle or mo manufacturer specific tool so in my case because I have a Volvo s40 I have the Volvo dice communication tool I also have their Volvo Vida software which is very detailed and intricate in terms of what it will tell you your uh, specific errors and really fault tracing things um, and also th even things like software updates for the car which is also pretty cool. Now these tend to be a little bit more expensive your standard reader is 10 to 15 pounds on Amazon or eBay and I'll leave some links down below for those but with this one you're in about 50 to 70 pounds uh, and that's also not including the software subscription for Vida so bear that in mind and also make sure that you get your your vehicle specific one that will work with your vehicle some make and models may differ and you know some manufacturers may not have publicly available tools like this one so feel free to uh, you know kind of do some research on which one you want to pick up now this dice tool still connects via the obd2 port but connects to a laptop via a usb connection and will do all of its diagnosis through that so make sure that you have a compatible laptop nearby that you can you know throw the diagnostic software on and um, well get things working now, the diagnostic software for this car, as I said, is Volvo's Vida systems, which is actually pretty interesting. It allows you to see every detail about your car and will also allow you to do fault tracing. So exact issues with say, I have a, a slight error in my accelerator pedal, so you can see that exact thing. Um, you can also see things like, for example, my car says that it has a lock problem. It doesn't, but you know, it, it gives you very precise information about where 
you know the problem is what the problem is and how the problem manifests as well so uh, very very detailed information Volvo's Vida also has all of the kind of uh, diagnostic and also uh, kind of repair manual type stuff in there as well so if you want to find out how to replace your accelerator pedal or you know remove your engine cylinder head then you can do that with all of the information in the uh, software so again very detailed and uh, kind of uh, a bit over the top for the average consumer so if you're watching this video you're likely not a service mechanic and therefore you probably don't want one of these this is something that I have for me because I love working on my car and I service it myself and I at least do my best to do a good job with it uh, and I, I just enjoy doing it it's more of a hobby than anything else whereas with the smaller readers those are the ones that I generally recommend for everyone to have they give you a bit of peace of mind if you know there's warning lights flashing up in your dashboard you can see exactly what's wrong with the car where where and whenever you are and obviously it gives you a bit more of an idea of you know if it's still safe to drive the car if you know it's safe to take it to a mechanic now or if it's safe to to leave it for you know however long you need to to and then get it fixed or try and fix it yourself it just gives you a bit more information and a, a bit more i guess power to not be ripped off at dealerships too so as i said i'll do my best to leave links to at very least these sorts of readers in the description down below obviously with the the vehicle specific ones if you don't have a volvo then this system will not work for you so while i will do my best to leave a link to this down there make sure that if you are you know getting one you find one that is is good for your car and at very least your brand or model uh, because as i said those are very specific but otherwise uh, you know these ones work with any car so that's also quite nice now if you'd like to see a video on how you would actually go about say trying to fix an error that you get with one of these kind of tools then let me know in the comments down below and i'll try and make that happen of course if you're a regular subscriber this isn't necessarily the normal type of content i do or where i normally film so feel free to to let me know what you think of it in the comments down below um, and of course if you did enjoy the video if you found it useful or if you have any questions then feel free to leave them down there as i said uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button too and if you want to support the channel and keep me making these videos and buying diagnostic tools for my car then you can check out the links in the description down below there's a patreon link where you can support me directly or the amazon and overclock UK affiliate link when you're buying from those places just clicking on them before you do massively helps me out there's plenty of other stuff down there too and there's plenty of other videos over here uh, so feel free to take a look at those and otherwise thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next video